Oh, I just noticed that. That's a really cool formation. Holy crap. The way the water is like you got a lake and it connects it, it connects the mountain with the savanna and with the desert. That's really cool. Hello everyone! Welcome to another Computercraft Lua lesson. Today I've returned to the program editor to teach you about conditional statements. These are blocks of code that will only run if specific conditions have been met. These are also known as if statements, if else statements, if else if else statements. You get the idea. The way these work is you start the statement with the word if, then you put some condition here that will evaluate to either true or false, then put the word then. After then, you want to write some code for if that condition is true. If it's false, it will completely skip over the code without running it. You put end at the end of your code to tell the program that it is the end of your conditional statement. Additionally, you can put else if before the end of the statement if you want to evaluate another condition if the first condition is not met. It's the same syntax as if, but you use else if at the start of it instead of if. You can add as many else if statements as you want before you end the whole thing. And finally, at the end of it all, if you want to run code for if none of the above conditions are true, you put an else statement. With an else statement, you put the word else, but you don't put any condition or then at the end, just else. And then this is the code that runs if none of the above conditions have been met. Now, as I said, a condition is something that evaluates to either true or false. That means literal booleans can be written here. You can also replace false with nil and the if statement will behave the same but typically you'd be using conditional statements to compare two different items. You may want to check if two different items are equal to each other. For example, if you want to check if 2 is equal to 2, you would write 2 equals equals 2. This is a comparison operator that will check if the two values are the same, and it will return a boolean value. In this case, 2 is equal to 2, so the condition is true, which means that it will run this code but not any of the code after it in the conditional block. You can also use this operator for almost any other data type. If you change the numbers to strings, it will check if the strings are the same. Another operator you can use is the less than sign, which is the left caret symbol. This will check if the first value is less than the second value. 2 is not less than 2, so this evaluates to false. If I change the second value to 3, it becomes true because 2 is less than 3. There is also the less than or equal to operator which is written with the left arrow symbol and the equal sign like this. This checks if the first value is less than or equal to the second value. In addition, there are the greater than and greater than or equal to operators, which do the same things as less than and less than or equal to, but instead check if the first value is greater than the second. In this case, they would both evaluate to false because 2 is not greater than 3, nor is it equal to 3. Lastly, if you want to check if two things are not equal to each other, regardless of being less than or greater than, you would write the not equals operator, which is the tilde and equal sign. In addition to the comparison operators, there are also logical operators, which allow you to compare multiple conditions in one statement. Using the and operator, the program will check if both conditions are true. If either condition is false, the statement will return false and won't run the code for that statement. In this case, text is equal to text, but 2 is not greater than or equal to 3. So this statement is false. If you replace AND with OR, the OR operator will check if either condition is true. That means all it needs is for at least one of the two conditions to be true to run the code. If both conditions are false, it won't run the code. Lastly, there is the NOT operator which basically negates the result of a condition. If this conditional statement is not true, meaning it is false, it will evaluate the true. Likewise, if the statement is true, then it will evaluate the false. You can use these operators to add as many conditions as you want to the same statement, and you can even use parentheses to group certain conditions together. The parentheses do follow the same rule as PEM does here, so the program will evaluate all of the conditions inside of the parentheses first, and work its way outward. You can use this strategy to manipulate how conditions get evaluated. For example, the NOT operator here will evaluate the result of both of these conditions within these parentheses. Up until now, I've been showing you how to compare constant values with each other for the sake of demonstration, but that's not actually useful in any real-world application. You can replace any of these constant values with variables. You can compare two variables to each other 
or you can compare a variable against the constant value, and that is definitely viable. Make sure you've defined your variables before the if statement. The computer reads the code one line at a time from top to bottom, so the variables need to be created before they can be compared. Otherwise, you'll be trying to compare variables that don't actually exist yet. Also keep in mind, for the sake of human readability, it's good practice to compare your variable to a constant rather than comparing a constant to a variable. What I mean is don't write 2 is equal to num2. This statement is valid in terms of syntax, and your program will work, but it makes no sense for a person to read it this way. So you should instead write num2 is equal to 2. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about what I covered in this lesson, feel free to ask in the comment section of this video. Next week, I'll be going over another data type, and this one is a bit more complicated than what I've shown you already. I hope to see you all then, and thank you so much for watching.